praise God, hallelujah. Lady salvation, praise the chat worldwide. And I am prophet, this is your medicine, I'm the presiding minister. I'm honored to invite you to our three days of grace comfort with a team and grace of Sunday. It's that in the morning until Friday. And a bread of not, and it shall be given him. Verse 6 Let him ask in faith, not in wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Verse 7 But let not that man think that he shall receive anything from the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 8 A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. So, in this case, we see lack of faith. Lack of faith brings weathering, that is doubting. Lack of faith brings doubting, that's number one. And lack of faith brings double-mindedness, that's number two, in verse eight. Double-minded, that means he doesn't have faith. In verse, in verse six, he said, nothing weathering. He that weathering is like the wave of the sea, that is lack of faith. Lack of faith makes you weather. When you are weathering, it means you are not stable in your thoughts. Your mind is zigzag. It goes yes, it goes no. It goes yes, it goes no. That is double mindedness. I'll get it, I won't get it. It shall be well. It will not be well. You will come, you won't come, you will go, you won't go. I'll have it, I'll have it. I can't build it, I can't build it. That is double mindedness. And it's a sign of no faith. So when your mind is double minded, you ask God for something. So believe that I'll ask God for it and it is coming. It is what? Coming. That is your faith. When you believe that what you ask God for is coming. Don't change your mind. Don't say, it won't come. That's taking so long. Ah, so it won't come again. That is lack of it. So, Peter was told to walk on the sea. Yes, by Jesus. Jesus was walking on the sea by the principle of faith. Peter said he wanted to walk on the same faith. He wanted to walk on the same sea, but he did not have faith. He was not walking on principle. Jesus was walking in principle. His principle was the principle of faith. And the Bible tells us that Peter said, Lord, if it is you, then tell me to come to you, bid me to come to you, invite me to walk on the sea also, allow me to walk on the sea, permit me to also walk on the sea, give me this grace to also walk on the sea, and then Jesus said, Jesus said, Come! And the Bible tells us, when Jesus said that, Peter started walking on the sea. Amen. He started walking. And for a while he was walking. He was walking on the waters. It was such a miraculous scene for Peter to be walking on the waters. It was a miraculous scene. And you know, he was enjoying the scene until the storm came. That is the test of our faith. It's the storm. Then the waves of the sea became high. Then he saw the sea boys. The Bible says when he saw the sea boys, it was like, wow! He rises like, whoa! He goes down. Then he begins to doubt. He begins to fear. And the Bible says, at that moment, Peter began to sink because he was doubting, double-mindedness. Say, so it's the way this sea is doing this, what, the way he's doing, what you push me inside, then he started sinking. Negativity is a sign of no faith. Those who have faith, 
They are positive-minded people. They are not negative in thoughts. They don't think about it's working, it's not working, it's coming, it's not coming. Their hearts, their minds are positive. When your mind is not positive, you can be in the same house of God. Where we are, and some people are enjoying blessings. Doors are opening for them, and you are living in misery, living in pain, living in complaint. Because you are a double minded person. And the Bible said in verse 7, he said, For let not that man think, James 1 7, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. You can't receive anything from God when your mind is double minded. The only thing you can receive is something from the devil. Do you know that so many people have received great things from the devil? They have received houses from the devil, cars from the devil. They even received a marriage, husbands and wives from the devil, children from the devil. And uh, at the end, it's a recipe for disaster. Because that thing is going to trouble you, it's going to disturb you, it's going to destroy you, it's going to take you to a hot fire. Anything Satan gives you is a bait. Now what is a bait? A bait is a poison food. I give you food all right, but I put poison inside. So wouldn't it be good if I never gave you that food? It doesn't matter how hungry you are. If I chose to give you food, and the food I give you, I put a poison inside that food. And then you are hungry and somebody never gave you the food, even though he asked you. See, the person who didn't give you food, he did not kill you. Praise God, hallelujah. Daily Salvation Christian Church Worldwide. And I'm Prophet Mr. John Matthew I'm the presiding minister. I'm honored to invite you to our three days of grace comfort with the team and grace of the same It's that in the way to see. Friday. something from him. He doesn't want us to receive something from the devil. If you can receive, you need your faith. But if you don't have faith, how can you receive from God? So there are so many who cannot receive from God. They only receive from the devil at the end. Because God is not a man. He is a spirit. Hallelujah. Pastors cannot be God. Human beings cannot be God. I can prophesy to you. I can pray for you. I can't be your God. When I prophesy, it's God who will bring it to pass based on your faith. God tells me something to tell you because this is the plan of God. But it can only come to pass when you have faith. You walk by faith. Then it comes to pass. We pray for you. God can answer our prayers when you walk by faith. You do the right thing. Those who walk by faith, they do the right thing. They don't mess up. Because they are walking by faith. When you walk by faith, you do the right thing because they are expecting the right things. You do the right thing because you want the right blessings. You have the wrong blessings. All these Sakawa boys you see with cars and houses, you have the wrong blessings. At the end, they die in misery, they die in faith, and they leave everything. They become zero in our fire. That's why we need to walk by faith. So we can receive something from God. Now, apart from not receiving anything from the Lord, James chapter 1 verse 8 says, A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You become double-minded. And that makes you unstable. When you are double-minded, your mind is double. You think twice when you are double in your thinking. You are double in your reasoning. You are double in your character. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. That means you are not truthful. Truthful. Today is a Christian. Tomorrow is an unbeliever. 
behave like a Christian, behave like an unbeliever, dress like a Christian, dress like an unbeliever. That's double mindedness. I'm making it like that. When you are double minded, Sunday you dress holy like a Christian. By the day is not a Sunday, you are not going to church, you dress dirty, indecently, like an unbeliever. Because you are double minded, so you are living a double life. Yes? That's what we do in pastors like that. Preach a holy message, but they live a sinful life because they are double minded. So they are living a double life. You can't receive anything from the Lord. Satan can give you crap. You can't preach righteousness to them. You can't preach holiness to them. Because the crowd is not from God. If you preach righteousness, if you preach holiness, they will go. The devil can give you riches, fame, popularity. You think you are well known. But in heaven, they don't know you. Jesus told us. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 22 to 23, he said, Many will say to me, Lord, we are healed in your name, cast out demons in your name, we have performed wonders in your name, we have done miracles in your name. And Jesus says, No, I don't know you, you workers of iniquity. Jesus didn't know them. So, all the miracles, all the humanity, all the people who gave them, Satan. So we want to receive something from God. Then we walk by faith. When you walk by faith, you will always meet your God. When you walk by faith, your God will visit you. When you walk by faith, your God will touch your life. When you walk by faith, your God will change your story. Amen. There are people who walk by faith. What they saw did not move them. When you walk by faith, you're not moved by the things you see. Hallelujah. Amen. Your faith is not about things not seen, but we believe in it. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things so far. The evidence of things not seen. That's faith. So, it's always about believing in something you have not seen. But yet, you believe it is real, and it's there, and it works. When you see it, it's not faith. You need to believe before you see. Not seeing is believing. Seeing is believing is not faith. That is the worldly perspective. The world will say seeing is believing. But in God, he said believing is seeing. You believe to see. I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of believing. That's what the psalmist said. He said, I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of believing. So if you believe, you will see it. But if you don't believe, you will not see the goodness of the Lord. God cannot show you how good he is because you are doubting him. You see, God has not displayed with people doubting. The agents, at times, God will never see that they are there. Because they don't believe him. So they will never see the presence of God in their life. They will only hear of it. How God has done great and awesome things in the life of others. People giving testimonies as to the reality of God in their lives. How God has changed their story. God has blessed them. How they met God, saw God, experienced God. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is Salvation Christian Church Worldwide. And I am Prophet is the Jamaican Servant on the I'm honored to invite you to our three days of grace conference. Praise God, hallelujah. This is Salvation Christian Church Worldwide. And I'm Prophet is a German Minister. I'm honored to invite you to our three days of grace conference with the team and grace of the Lord. It's that we went to Friday, April 2019. It says we are prone to the Lord. Friday is no end. We are to the Lord. 
You 